Hello everyone, I am Mohammed Aslam, team leader of Team Med Help. I am here to explain my solution for the problem statement AI based tool for preliminary diagnosis of dermatological manifestation and the problem statement code is SIH1344. So this is our problem statement. The problem statement is AI based tool for preliminary diagnosis of dermatological manifestation. This problem statement is provided by Ministry of Ayush and our team name is MedHelp and we represent Rajalakshmi Institute of Technology. So this is our uh, idea when it comes to or the approach to our problem statement. First we collect images of 13 skin conditions which include acne, acnotropic keratosis, nail fungus, etc. Then, based on the image that you have collected, we perform image pre-processing or augmentation, which will be later described in the video. Then we use a pre-trained model known as Inception V3, which has already been trained to a large number of data sets. So, this pre-trained model is utilized for skin disease detection, where this pre-trained model is trained on the augmented images, the pre-processed images, which is then later used for skin disease prediction. So once the model has been trained and tested using the images of various skin condition, an unseen image, an image which the model hasn't seen, has, is passed to the model to predict what the possible skin condition could be, which is seen in the sample prototype here. And if the case is severe, like apart from just predicting, the skin condition will try to predict the severity whether it's like a medium case a mild case or a severe case so if the person is suffering from a severe case of particular skin condition we try to recommend the nearest hospitals using open case and open street map api so if you look at the technology here we use deep learning which is in deep learning we use inception v3 a pre-trained model for skin disease prediction and we use image pre-processing. Image pre-processing is done using TensorFlow library and we use KU to create a user interface. So this describes our flowchart. So here we have images of two conditions, melanoma and seborrheic keratosis. For instance, if I pass an image of uh, melanoma here. So first, the model tries to predict what skin cancer it could be. Since we already know, know in this scenario melanoma, it tried to predict the melanoma and tried to predict how severe it is. For instance, if I pass this image, then it's here it, it tries to predict a severe keratosis, then it predicts how severe it is. For instance, if I pass an image other than these two, it tries to go into this particular condition, other like other disease, and try to predict what possible disease it could be and how severe the case is. Then here I describe the use cases and the showstoppers. So the use cases is that with the help of AI based model, we can predict skin conditions earlier. We can also predict about the disease severity, how severe the skin condition is. And based on severity, the person who is suffering from a particular skin condition could be more precautious. Then when it comes to showstoppers, for certain skin diseases such as leprosy or elephantiasis, they're not that much quality image to train our model from. So as a result, predicting those types of diseases could be difficult using our AI-based model. And certain people would be unwilling to share images of their skins for medical purposes. Like in this scenario, we require images of people, of their skins, so to predict skin condition. So for certain skin conditions, where people could be unwilling, reluctant to share their images. So for those particular skin conditions, it could be difficult to predict those skin conditions using our AI-based model due to people unwilling to share their skin images. So the first step towards achieving a solution is, or the first step when it comes to building an AI-based model is data collection. So if you look at here, Kaggle, Kaggle is an open source platform for various data sets. So for our problem statement, I have collected my data set from Kaggle. Uh, in Kaggle, there are various data sets to collect from. Like if you want specifically for skin disease classification, you can refer them. Like if you take, for example, see, you get various data sets. 
However, for our problem statement, I have collected uh, data sets Kaggle and when it comes to the data sets that I have used, these are the two common ones. These are the ones that I have used for my problem statement to train my model. This data set, the first one, it consists of images of nine diseases, such as you can see from here, actinic keratosis, vascular lesion, rubber, fib fibroma, etc. And I have used another data set as well, where this data set, it contains other diseases, like other types of disease, skin disease, such as like if you look at here, you could say acne, hair loss, nail fungus, normal, and uh, normal skin and skin allergy. So I have covered close to 13 to 14 skin conditions, which allows my model to classify various type of terminological manifestations. And since training my model on various images allows us to detect various conditions as well. So if I just train my model on a limited number of images, I can only classify or I can only predict a limited number of skin conditions. But training it on a larger number of skin conditions allows my model to learn or to study various diseases better. So for this problem statement, for the AI-based model, I have to develop an AI-based model, right? For the AI-based model, to develop the AI-based model, to implement the AI-based model, I've used Google Colab. And the AI-based model that I'm using is a pre-trained model known as Inception V3, okay? This model or this pre-trained model is a model which is developed by Google and it's already been trained on lakhs and lakhs of images. So since it's already be pre-trained, since it's already has studied, or since it's already has some kind of experience when it comes to image classification or image detection, it requires less time for training the model and it's also expected to perform better to give much better accuracy compared to creating our own model and performing skin, skin disease classification or skin disease detection. So I described with the model, right? Now I'm going to explain about the image pre-processing part. Image pre-processing refers to the image transformations that we do so that the model understand or understands each image better. So in this scenario or in this problem statement, I have performed certain image transformations so that we can understand or the model can understand the skin diseases better, can map each skin disease to a particular image better. For instance, this is an image of a person who's suffering from acne. So the transformations it is done to understand the image better is like zooming in the image, then rotating it. You could see it's being a little tilted, right? So we, we zoom the image and we rotate the image. We flip the image ultimately to understand each disease better, to ultimately get more information about the image that is useful and to reduce the noise that is present in the image. In this user interface, people can share images of the skin and based on the image that they share, the severity of the skin condition that could be suffering from is predicted and also skin disease that could be suffering from is predicted by the AI model. And again, this user interface is created with the help of Gradio. So for instance, if I upload an image of a person suffering from a particular skin condition, for instance, this, So you can see the model predicts the severity as severe and predicts the skin condition as acne. Based on the output the AI model gives, like if you pass an image of the skin, you know which case of skin condition could belong to. For people who suffer in medium cases or people who are in the severe case of a particular skin condition, Visiting the nearest hospital is suitable and appropriate as it prevents as early treatment prevents major consequences of the skin condition. So to find the nearest hospital within a 5 km radius, user can pass or user can input their city and country. For instance, let's put Colombia.
So for people who live in Coimbe, the nearest hospital in the five kilometer radius is CMC Hospital. Let's take another input. For instance, let's put Pune. For Pune, it recommends set the Rajan Hospital. Now let's put a, a, a city outside of India. Let's put Paris, France. So for Paris and Fra for Paris city and France country, it recommends the nearest hospital as Hopital Saint Perrin. Thank you.